This is a book trailer for Amazing Gracie, A Dog's Tale, by Dan Dye and Mark Beckloff. Blue, my best friend and companion of 18 years, was dead. Before I knew what was happening, my co-worker Anne convinced me, and I had a new puppy. And not only the joys of the new puppy, but also the frustrations. Since Gracie is deaf, you may want to consider an alternative training program. Gracie! 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 After a while, though, it became apparent that we had a problem. We could no longer laugh about Gracie's finicky eating. It had gotten to the point where she had almost stopped completely. We tried a plethora of different dog foods, but for all the change, it could have been the same old stuff. Nothing appears to be wrong with Gracie, but she is underweight. You may want to consider home cooking. It's me. I have an important question. How do you cook? Overcooked. Gracie sampled it. Undercooked. Again she tried it. Too mushy. She gave it a try. Definitely too hard. Finally perfect. Gracie gave it all a try. We started handing out our dog treats to friends and family and got lots of calls with enthusiastic responses. You have seven new messages. My roommate Mark and I decided to go into business. We were going to try to sell our treats at a nearby event, the Johnson County Dog Fair. We were pretty much baking 24-7 to get ready for it. On the day of the fair, our treats just weren't selling. It turned out that everyone else at the fair was giving their treats away, so we gave ours away too. People began to tell their friends about us, and soon we opened a store, the Three Dog Bakery. It's been a real success, and we owe it all to Gracie. We had a lot of fun along the way, but if you want to learn the whole story, you'll have to read the book.